Hi, this is Nick at Atlantic Laser Scanning. Today we've got a project here that is a road scan and it did include sphere targets. So uh, we're going to go to one of our clusters here and in that cluster we are going to go through pre-processing and registration. We'll go ahead and combine that. We'll right click on our cluster, go to process scans and We've got a 150 millimeter sphere, so they're going to have to change the radii here. Move this to an inact inactive. We're going to perform auto registrations. We're going to choose this option here. Now the registration method, because we have sphere targets, we will go to target based and make sure that we use the fine spheres uh, in the target list. We've got options up here under general. We can colorize our scans, create a scan point cloud, or skip fully processed scans. Now, being that we've got uh, road traffic uh, cars on this, this street that was scanned, uh, we're not going to add the scan point, uh, the colorizing scans, because uh, we want to go ahead and clean that before we colorize it. Uh, once we get all the cars actual laser contact out of the scans then we can add the the color to them uh, just makes it a little more difficult to see where the actual data is if you've added the color to it when you're trying to remove those squiggly lines from the uh, from the vehicles so we'll get rid of that and then creating scan point clouds uh, because this may not come together there's no point in creating a scan point cloud because if you've got multiple clusters that are automatically created and maybe some outlying scans, now you're just gonna have to go back and erase that uh, point cloud until you get it all fixed. And then you're gonna have to go back and add and create the point cloud. So really, we'll just wait and see if it comes together. If it does, we'll just manually create the point cloud. So uh, we're left here with uh, skip fully processed scans we're going to find spheres. Here's our sphere radius and automatic registrations being performed target based. So we'll start our processing. As we can see, we've got 14 of our scans. They all came together. We've got a green light. We can right click and lock that. And if we load our scans, we will be able to take a look at this in our correspondence view just to make sure that uh, the scan group did come together properly and it looks as though based on the locations that it did now as we take a look here we've got two clusters and both of these clusters are of the same project so we're going to put them together that would be why we went ahead and locked this scan manager because when we are now going to uh, register the cluster here with cluster number three, we don't want the computer to have to go through and re-register all of the scans in each of the clusters. We just want the computer to look at this cluster and this cluster. So by locking these scan managers, it's much easier on the computer and a much faster process. So we go up here to the uh, top scan manager we are going to update scans. Now, there's different ways we can do this. Uh, this project cluster here was not registered with the using the targets, and this one was. So we can begin with top view and see if we can get the project to come together, the two clusters to come together with top view. Using top down, we did get the scan uh, uh, project to come together both clusters uh, it is yellow lights so let's take a look at we've got uh, about 12 millimeters for our mean now we can try to tighten that up we can go back into our scan manager and update scans and we'll try this time for cloud to cloud and we'll keep our subsampling the way it is and we'll see how that goes and we have uh, finished here we've now got a three millimeter mean so uh, combining top down and cloud to cloud has given us a much better 
um, uh, accuracy here. So uh, I would say we could stick with that. Uh, now, we've got all this scan data and uh, we have road data with, as you can see, a whole lot of cars in it. And uh, the next step in your process would generally be to go ahead and clean the road data. And once the road data is cleaned, then add the color to it. That's it for now. Thank you.